uh, transform emotions and retake control. <clears throat> when I feel something coming on, whether it be rage, whether it be sadness, anything. Generally not excitement. I, <laughs> it takes quite a bit to get me really, really amped up and excited about something, but uh, occasionally it happens, but I never like have a flip out joy moment. It just, I, I don't know, maybe I've just seen too much of the world and experienced too much and been let down too many times to really get that build up. So, uh, okay. So let me try to walk through this. Walk through my mental process. Actually, I think I want to ride that road. Because it's really freaky. Turn around and go that way. Since I was talking about depression before, let's use that as an example. When I start feeling really, really shitty and depressed, as soon as it comes on, I've, I've gotten to the point with this practice, this meditative practice, that as soon as I start feeling depressed, I grab it by the throat. Now, step number one, you have to be aware. And they call it your emotional IQ. Now you can look that up and research emotional IQ on your own, but you have to be self-aware enough to even notice what what emotional state you're currently in. See, this road's freaking crazy. I rode it at night once, and it was spooky. <laughs> yeah, no guardrails, just just a cliff. I think I came up over that hill and was like, whoa. <laughs> so you have to be emotionally aware and be able to detect, say, when you're having a rage moment, it's coming on, you can feel the anger rising, you can feel the depression welling up in your throat, your, your chest, and start right there. Now, step two, let the emotion happen feel like really really pay attention if it's a depression take note of all of the little things that are happening to you if your heart rate is fluttering then take note of that if your throat is tightening up if your chest is tightening up if you've got a sinking feeling in your guts like all of those little things like something running down your back all of those little feelings you want to make mental note of and just become fully aware and opened up to, okay, this is what happens to me when I'm depressed, or these are all the things that happen when I get angry. Okay, now that you've done that, think about something that has made you just immensely happy. And then once you start feeling happy, um, actually, this is best to do when you're not already depressed. It's, it's an exercise. So, like, think about something that just makes you ridiculously happy. And make note of all those feelings. Like, what happens, how your brain feels, how your chest, how your heart, how your guts, everything feels. Just feel that emotion wash over you and examine the process like start to finish like what kicks off first is it your brain does your brain start to feel good does your back of your neck start to relax what are the things that help kick off that feeling now for me when i feel just incredibly happy i, I get kind of giggly um the muscles on my scalp and my neck kind of uh 
relax and, and just feel better. My back kind of loosens up. Just all my muscles start getting loose. Now what you'll notice is when you're feeling shitty, <laughs> you're feeling the opposite, feeling pissed off, depressed, whatever, you kind of start getting the opposite feelings. Like you start tightening up, you clench up, your body closes up, and um, you just kind of go into your snail shell. But when you're happy, everything opens up. At least for me it does. So, think about that for a moment. Maybe one way that you can overcome, or at least pull your, help partially pull yourself out of that depressive state, is to force yourself to breathe. Number one, breathe. Take a breath, stop. Just sit, stand, whatever, breathe. Number two, stretch. If you need to do a bend over and stretch your back, stretch your arms, just loosen up your shoulders, stretch your neck, um, do some twists. I mean, do whatever you can to loosen up your body and prevent yourself from just nodding up and going deep into it. And then three, um, I'd say your heart and everything else is going to get fluttery and shitty and just get that sinking feeling. So what you need to do is change your thoughts. If you're thinking about something that's making you upset, set that thought aside. Just push it aside and try to think about nothing or take one of the happiest moments in your life and pull that forward. And what you might notice if you do this three-step process, not to be some Tony Robbins jackass, but if you do those three steps, you will notice a massive improvement. Now that's just the start. If you want to get up to the point where I've gotten, where I can literally like flip a switch in my brain and turn things off pretty quickly without doing all of those steps, you honestly need to get into meditation. I know meditation, cheesy, a bunch of like hippie guru, no, that's not, it's not meditation. I mean, the ancient samurai of Japan, the baddest of the badass warriors of old, all meditated because they knew that your mind is your number one weapon. If you let fear and other emotions control you, you're going to lose your fight. So meditation is one of the premier tools that you can take up to uh, to reclaim your mind from your emotions.